tell us what to expect tonight because it's the season's premiere. Uh, yeah. Well, as you may have learned from that clip, I take my father to Vegas. <laughs> and um, and uh, we are celebrating. Um, and uh, something happens in the episode that begins kind of a, a major arc of the season. I'm not at liberty to say more. Oh. And, um, oh. and, um, uh -huh. and it, you know, um, it's just a real joy to be able to say goodbye to these characters in, in, a, in the proper way. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to do that. Gilmore Girls kind of ended when we didn't know if mm -hmm. we were going to get picked up. And so, um, so this is really special for the cast and, and the writers to, to say Because it's the last season of the, the show. Season. They announced going in, mm -hmm. it is the last. Yep. So. Wow. But it's great because you get to wrap it up in a beautiful way. Yeah, right? and hopefully give people some feeling of closure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, well then, speaking of wrapping it up, in a special way, Jason Riddle, Ray Romano played a uh, love interest mm -hmm. of your character. Yeah. So just look at me, tell me. <laughs> Will your character get a happily ever after? <laughs> I almost said happy ending, but that's, that's all. <laughs> I honestly <laughs> don't know. They have been uncharacteristically cagey with us uh -huh. as to how the show uh -huh. is ending. So that's frustrating, but it's also fun because I am not lying when I tell you. <laughs> I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of romance. Screen, you are dating your co-star, the fantastic Peter Krause, who is a friend of the show. We love him so much. He plays your yeah. brother, Adam, yeah. on Parenthood. Um, did you guys have to try to keep your relationship under wraps at any point? Well, Hollywood being what it is, we, you know, wanted to be careful and, and sort of make sure we were um, really an item before we made some sort of announcement. And so we kept it quiet at work. And it, the most stressful part was, as an actor, I just didn't want to act it all romantic toward my brother because that's gross. <laughs> and, and, so, but I, and one of our directors knew, and I was like, "Can you tell?" I mean, I feel like you can just tell. And he was like, "You can't tell. It's fine." <laughs> so, but and then eventually we told people, and our boss was like, "Wow, that really freaks me out." And then he was fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're both excellent actors. Knew each other for a long time before you started dating. So tell us how you first met. We met on this lot, by the way, at CBS Radford oh, when we were wow. in an episode of Caroline in the City. Wow. Um, and we just became friends. And um, we how kinda, long ago was that? This was, I mean, it's it was in the 90s, Caroline in the City. So yeah, wow. and and for some reason, I asked, I called him one day to help me carry a dresser. Up the stairs, carry a dresser. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. So, so, and he did. Um, and uh, I don't know. We just we had, you know, we we connected at different times, but then we finally connected. Mm -hmm. But did you like him back then? I did. I mean, I he flirted with me. I was dating somebody, and I, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, I liked him, but I didn't think I would never have seen this happen.